this video, I put five silvers up against five top tier champion players, but the champions are playing on permadeath, meaning if they die even just once, they're dead for the rest of the map. Last time, the coppers won. Will the silvers be able to follow in their footsteps? One more no, oh, he's in ruin uh -huh. spawn on the left. Yeah, I mean, no. lame brother. No. What the fuck? What's the one what? 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 They all spawn junkyard and not a single champ player is spawn killing by junkyard now with that being said This gives the silver players some time to push into the site If that's what they so choose to do it looks like they're gonna end up doing a big window take here as the majority of the silver players are all outside of big window and that's generally something that you see in low ranks is everyone kind of pushing big window Frick. Fucking... I'm just gonna barricade this There's you for him to jump in the bed. You play behind me. Free fires and runouts and wall bangs are all very risky for the champ players because if they die once at all in this entire game, they are done. They are completely done. So all of these peaks they're making are very, very risky here. So up top, that's going to do a little bit of damage onto returns. One more grenade or a better place grenade here from Russo, and he is out of the video. Grenade going to go through the wall. That's actually going to down Boosty. That's a down all the way from the roof. Now, Russo may not be aware of it, but he's going to do significant damage on a Boosty. Kubi going to pick him up, though. Returns on low HP himself for now, trying to go for a peek onto the kid's window. But unfortunately for him, Silo, not quite repelled on it, but above the attic window now. I really don't want to wanna, wanna get your bow, I think. No, man. You, you sure? Uh, no clue. And Ice Cold, the first kill of the game. He's going to get a kill with that Oryx onto Eclipse. So there goes your Nomad, who was trying to push over by Armory side. Silo joining this. Looks like he might be the next to push in there, but not before Returns is able to get a second kill for the champs onto Beans. That's going to be Twitch getting taken out, but... Russo, a big kill on to Freck. Goodbye, Freck. Leave. Leave, Freck. That is a 4v5 for the rest of the game now. Freck is done. For the remainder of this match, it's going to be a 4v5. Very unfortunate for the champ players to lose one of their best players so early. But this round, they are aimed to lock it out. They've got to be careful. Those returns and boosty are so low HP. Russo himself is also low HP, but his guns are going to do a lot more damage than the SMGs that the defense has. But Ice Cold getting taken out by Silo. Rollo going to team kill Silo. So now it's a two, a 3v2. Oh, nice. Good for the rest of the game. Sure. The champs won round number one, but what about next round? It's a 3v5. They won it, They won in a 5v5, but are they going to be able to win in a 3v5? I don't know. Alrighty, round number two has started here, and most of the silver players have spawned outside by street, but it looks like they're going to be rotating over to help Rallo, who is in the back on bunker. But they're going to have to be careful because Tubi is sitting here with the C4 in hand, and when these attackers go to drop, it could be an explosion in their face, but no. Luckily for Rallo, he's going to stop just before the mouth of Bunker here and not take any sort of significant damage. Now, Tubi going to fall back off of that double door onto his mirror window. Mirror going to be a great asset for the champ players here as they're going to be able to cover angles with ease. They're not going to need five players. They can just cover these angles with the mirror windows. We'll see if it ends up helping them. They got to watch out. There's a Twitch drone coming in. Fuck you, man. Fuck, man. Fuck you. Clips taking out Tubi. Boosty with a refract though onto Beans. Now it's a 2v4. R returns and Boosty able to clutch this out. Bomb. I can't do anything. He's low, he's low. Yeah. Oh, my aim, bro. I'm still gonna swing, and that's the kill on the Boosty. Ladies and gentlemen, not but two rounds in to the first map, the Silvers win. Absolutely incredible. All right, gentlemen, what was the problem there? Talk to me. You guys, you guys yeah. lost. Well, listen, I did this with other champs, and they made it to map three. They, they played pretty good, so you guys can't uh, you guys can't go out that, that quick. That was the first one. Now we, we know how to play. Yeah, yeah, perfect, perfect. So the next game, you guys got it, right? Yeah. Yeah. All right. No, I won't troll. All right, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Map number two on Clubhouse. Let's hope that our champ players are able to survive more than two rounds. I know when I did this video with the copper players, I believe we made it all the way to map number three.
So these champs have to make it at least to map number three. That's what I'm expecting out of them here. We'll see if they're able to do it. They're bringing Freck on this pulse, trying to get some easy C4 kills from below to be on that mirror. Pretty good lineup here from the champs, but the silver player is upstairs now. They've got Silo on the Ying, which is interesting. And Eclipse here trying to push into the window to open up the hatch, but we're going to see Freck just underneath it as well as Ice Cold just stopping this window hop in. It's going to be interesting if we see Eclipse actually go in for this hop in here. Yeah, yeah. I can actually this guy. Hold on. Other shit on ping. Join me, sir. It was top mate, top top mate. Also then, that guy just got beat in. So going down. No one is there to get the refrag on Ice Cold, so he's gonna pick up his C4 now. The silver players in a rough spot. C4 is gonna come up through the freezer holes, and that's Freck getting an easy C4 kill on Tarala. So now it's all up to Silo and Beans. Beans only being about 20 HP right now. All of these C4 is going up on the roof right now. They're going to miss, unfortunately, for Tubi. But Beans just trying to push down right now. Oh, it does that. Oh, my God. Window. I in. Dead. Oh, what the hell? Silo goes down. Ice Cold playing on that Osa Shield with the Thunderbird Shoddy. Too good. All right, round number three has begun here and returns is going to start it off with a bang with a kill on Teresso. There goes Urian and another kill for Freck onto Silo. Ice Cold following it up with a kill on Rallo as well. So within 15 seconds, three of your entire five silver players are going to be taken out just like that. Eclipse going to try to repel back up to the breach and salvage what he can, but Ice Cold is going to be sitting right here. He's going to take quite a bit of damage for trying to peek that, but Eclipse is going to be able to hop up to the breach, but he's going to go ahead and drop down. Eclipse is going to walk in. This could be bad. The Kate's not looking at him. The Beeper's going to go off, though. That's going to force Ice Cold to flick back to him. Tong. Where is he? He's inside of construction. Yeah, cool. Oh, what the f*** am I Head doing? Head gone, yeah? What, he's... Whoa, whoa, what the f***? Everybody was down! Don't, don't die, die, don't, don't die, die, don't die. die. Too big. <gasps> this guy, man, my aim was so yeah. I thought he was down. I thought it was a Finca or something. For two, the champs have made it. Officially farther than they did map one. Russell right now trying to peek the open window into master right now. And little does he know he's narrowly missing the head of Tubi right now. Who's trying to set up the site and the champs are looking like they're in a pretty good position so far Tubi trying to get some damage to that drone hole. He's going to do a little bit of damage on Teresso, but not much. And Russ is able to open up that wall. So he's done his job. Tubi trying to go for this drone hole peek again. He is going to do a little bit more damage onto Rallo. Now Rallo and Russell taking a little bit of damage, but here comes that <laughs> that ace charge which is going to get impacted off by ash god of beans ash charging the mirror window for some reason and he's going to destroy the ash charge there and somehow missing all of his shots onto tubi who hopped out of the rotate here but eclipse with two big kills onto both boosty and return so just like that we are back to a 3v5 ladies and gentlemen 3v5 last game was too much for the champs to handle let's see if they can handle it it could be the end just on this round right here Oh yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. I'm so shit. What the f man? I'm so shit. Well, to be putting in work right now. Last player on the balcony, Rallo, trying to swing. He could be the third victim here. Free fire is coming out from Tubi, but it's not going to hit. It finally does eclipse the last player remaining on the silver team. He's gonna play very aggressively onto the Samir window, but it's not gonna matter because Freck from the logistics room with the flank on Jaeger gonna take him out. Well played. But the champs are still in a pretty bad position as they are in a 3v5 for the rest of this game. But luckily for them, they do have match points. So this is entirely possible for them to win this round. All right. So as this being our fourth round, it's also going to mark the first round that the champ players are going to play on attack. So uh, as you know, from last map, they didn't even get to attack because they lost in the first two rounds. So we're going to see how their attacks fare this round. Great use of their utility so far. Those shields are very good. Freck able to get that wall open no problem with the help of Ice Cold on Thatcher. Now, Cade is playing very aggressively right here behind the bomb. And this could prove to be very, very bad for him, I'd imagine. As Ice Cold and Tubi are on the rappel here. Tubi actually being careful as looks like Silo might try to run out from the new blue window. 
Ruck now backing up a little bit. Gonna try to open up the single panel here, but Tubi gonna walk straight into the bomb site now. And wow, that's gonna be Vigil hiding in a corner. Who's gonna take out Tubi? Gonna leave his team in an awful spot for the rest of the game. If, well, I guess it wouldn't matter because if Gotta Beans wins this, it's GG's either way. So Gotta Beans has the chance just to win this, but he's not going to. He's gonna impact grenade himself. Oh, if that's not the most silver thing we've seen this entire video. Wow, unfortunate. All right, round number one of map number three has started. And once again, it's starting off with a bang. Tubi going to get a kill onto Rallo. That is a very swift kill for him. That's going to be the Jaeger being taken out for the silver players. Now, Returns trying to push onto the VIP balcony along with Ice Cold. Boosty with a kill of his own onto Eclipse from that ventilation building all the way through the big windows. That's going to be the one getting taken out now. Taking a look at the rest of the silver players, Russo. Not, can't look at him. He's going to get taken out from Returns now. Silo, for some reason, on cams in Blue Bar. God of Beans fighting his demons right now. 1v5 on the site while Silo checks cams. Who knows why? Ice Cold going to try to push in now. Tubi as well. Boosty as well. They're going to be trying to nade open that Mira, most likely. God of Beans, I pray for you, dog. Here comes the grenade. Over 50 of Kata Bean's health going to be taken away instantly. The bomb has now been planted from Ice Cold, who's getting flanked currently by Silo. Ice Cold going to take a little bit of damage, but eventually going to get that wall bank kill. Now it's all up to Kata Beans. He's retreated to the very back of the bomb site right now. He's really just looking for one kill, but he's not going to be able to get it because Freck on crack, or more like Freck on G Fuel. Use Kashok, get 30% off the link in the description. Takes him off, and that's going to be round number one. Here we go with round number two. Ice Cold bringing out an interesting pick. That's going to be the Blackbeard. Not a terrible option if you really think about it as this could actually save Ice Cold's life. But with that being said, Freck on the repel as Iana. Everybody knows how difficult it is to see Iana's white hair on this repel. This repel is so, so good for her now. Boosty as well as Returns holding the same angle onto Ruins. Man. Just the last thing you want to see. To be repelled on the hookah balcony right now. All the silver players just basically hiding. Eclipse is going to take a lot of damage from Boosie and Returns, who was on that uh, Ruins balcony over there. But Freck going to be pushing in. Maybe actually trying to take sight right now. He's going to be pushed all the way into Aquarium by the Billage Double Door. Ice Cold is going to drone up behind him. So we could see Freck potentially push on this drone which is exactly what he's going to be doing right now. All walking into the site. Ice Cold calling what's clear and what's not. That's going to be the first kill for Freck onto Rallo and then onto Russo as well. He's going for the three crate now. Jaeger of Silo going to take a lot of damage inside of VIP right now. Eclipse trying to go for the flank onto Ice Cold, but Ice Cold could be ready for this. Freck just holding strong inside of site right now. Going to take a little bit of damage from God of Beans who's inside of VIP right now. Ice Cold going to actually down the flanker of Eclipse, but Silo is trying to flank himself right now. Tubi almost dying to a Kapka trap, but going to take out God of Beans. So it's all up to Silo now in the 1v5. He's all the way back by the couches on White Stairs right now. If Ice Cold doesn't know this and he swings into it, this could be the death of Ice Cold. Here comes the flashbang swing. That's going to blind Silo for sure. Ice Cold just still holding over by the 90 hall. Here comes Freck pushing into 90. This could be the end of Silo, who's prone behind a couch right now. Ice Cold playing so passive, not wanting to lose his life to something stupid like Freck just did. Freck going to be taken out. He is gone for the rest of map number three. We're going to see another swing from Boosty, but he's going to have the aim to win it out. That's going to be a 4v5 for the rest of the game for the champ players, but they are going to take round number two. All right, starting off now as a 4v5 for the champ players. Wallbane's going to come out. They're going to do a little bit of damage onto Silo, who is just outside of Blue Bar. He's going to rotate now up through the White Stairs, taking about 20 HP. Now, we see God of Beans playing just inside of Sunrise by Blue Bar or uh, Mudroom. And Boosty right now is potentially going to try to push this right now. He's going to drone out God of Beans. He's going to have to rotate back towards couches in Sunrise now. Boosty potentially going to go for a nade kill. Pre-fire is coming out through the wall. Not going to hit God of Beans just yet, though. We're also going to see Eclipse prone inside of Jungle. This is an interesting strategy, to say the least, right now. Wow, as soon as I switch to Rallo, he's going to get taken out by Tubi on the kitchen window. That is tragic, to say the least. He's going to be taken out for the rest of the game. Now returns, holding an angle onto the big window. We almost saw Silo jump out of that big window, but luckily for him, he chose not to. Gotta be trying to reclaim inside of Sunrise here. Gonna take out that Iana clone, but 
Ubi has already rotated off, actually, or Boosie's rotated off. It's going to be Ice Cold to take his place right now, as well as the Iyana of Tubi, who's going to take him out. God of Beans going down, but here we go. Another defender is ready to take his place, but he's also going to get taken out by Ice Cold, but Boosie with another kill for himself onto, I believe that was... Uh, clips but i'm not even sure he's gonna have sight now so it's all up to silo who's going to be taking a lot of damage through these melee holes now returns actually has a cam on him the coordination of these champ players is purely unmatched the cams on him in that situation is incredible ice cold with the drone or the plant but it won't matter as boosty takes him out with the pistol of all things Ooh, the one tap you hate to see it if you're silo all right here we go ladies and gentlemen the fourth round has just begun here, and Boosty already damaging God of Beans quite a bit, as well as Russell getting taken some damage here by Tubi, who's running outside of Aqua. That's a lot of spawn peaks coming out from the champ players. Not a great start if you're on the silver team whatsoever. Boosty potentially getting a little bit too aggressive here, as God of Beans is already posted up on the ruins. Tubi going to be the getting the first kill of round number four onto Eclipse. So there goes your Osa. As soon as I switch to him, Gotta Bean's going to be taken out by Boosty. What a great shot by him. But Rallo, finally, another kill onto the champ team. Ice Cold going to be taken out. That is a 3v5 for the rest of the game. Looks like so far, none of the champs actually know that he's there. Boosty picking very aggressively, but Tubi's going to steal that kill from him. Rallo goes down. It's all up to Silo, who's inside of VIP right now. Tubi was already pre-firing that door. So not a good start for him whatsoever. Silo just needs to sit here and bait some kills, and he could still win this. If he wins the 1v3 here, it is GG's, and the Silvers will actually win this entire game. Silo's a position, but maybe it'll work, as he does have the hatch here to rotate out through. Returns, pushing all the way up to the 90 hall right now. Looks like the champs still aren't 100% sure of Silo's position right now, but Tubi is closing in on the white stairs, which is exactly where Silo is at, but Silo's going to take him out. 1v2 now, not a great start whatsoever for the champs here. Returns locked up in these gridlock traps inside of VIP. So now it's Boosty and Returns versus Silo. Boosty all the way back on site. Returns sitting inside of VIP, and I'm not sure that Silo is going to be able to clear this in time. The swing comes out from Boosty, and that's Silo going down. 4-0 victory for the champ players. GG's. Thank you guys so much for watching. The champs take it with the permadeath. In a best of three over the silver players, two four O's, and then losing two rounds in on the first map. Thank you so much, everyone, for playing. Follow these champs with the links down below in the description. If you guys enjoyed the video, consider liking, subscribe if you're new, and have a great day.